Hey guys, Bittersteel here, back with another video, and here we go. Disaster saves once again, so let's check this one out. This one was sent in by Jojo Bonnell, and he writes he formed the Lithuanian Commonwealth as Lithuania, annexed Latvia, played non-Iron Man and non-historical, so the world got a little spicy, I can imagine. Germany went historical and soon found themselves at war with most of the world, so I thought, why not take advantage of the chaos and try to beat them? It went rather smooth at the beginning, but it has now turned into too much for me to be able to handle. I tried to form a defensive line in the north, but it's falling apart, as is the south. The only thing I have going for me is the western front, and I've tried to make an air force, so far around 300 fighters. Okay, let's see, let's see just how bad this is. Okay, Iron Man's off, Historical's off, I, I don't like this already. Called it? Well, I tried. Should've tried harder. Oh god, it's disgusting. Oh, it is so disgusting. Your lines aren't... Oh no. No, 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 no. What is this? <sighs> First order of business. Complete reorganization of the military. This is just... Yeah. No. <laughs> this is disgusting. What does your army even look like? You've got a bunch of different templates. Uh, your army's all over the place. Let's try and form some sort of... Okay, we'll, we'll surrender everything on that side of Brest-Litovsk. We'll, we'll figure something out there. And then the field marshal can man this line with two armies and hold somewhere around there. Yeah, we'll, we'll just surrender this entire part. I know it connects us to Romania, but honestly, Romania's gone. They're in the Allies, but... Uh, that's not gonna do them any favors. Romania's gone. Uh, Germany's at war with the Allies and with us. So this, if I'm not mistaken, just need to last long enough for the Allies to capitulate Germany. Which I, I hope they will. Ooh, this guy can get Ambusher. I'm gonna get Ambusher straight off. So our generals... Not terrible, not great. Can I get a different field marshal? No. We've lost Lithuania proper. But we still got Warsaw. We still got Warsaw. Okay, deployment. No, templates. 20 width. Okay, they're not terrible, but they're also not great. I'm gonna deviate from this. I'll, I'll change these in a bit. An artillery division, this is something that they start with. It's useless. Motorized. Yeah, I'm not gonna use it. Royal Guards, this is the old 7-2. It works, but I don't like it at all. Super Royal Guards, this is the old 14-4. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna use those. Mountaineers. Eh, maybe later. And armored. Ambitious, but no. What are our stockpiles looking like? Okay, so we got some guns, we got some artillery, we even have a little bit of anti-tank. We can we can do something with this. Okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna change this. Remove, remove. This is, no, wait. 18 width, add one artillery piece. So this is 21 combat with infantry. It's not by any means great, but I have had success with these. They've served me well in the past, I want to use them. Um, I think this will work. I'm going to convert our entire army over to this. Looting these guys, yeah. Then queue up as many of these as I can. Oh, we are out of manpower, which sucks, but we are mobilizing more. We're mobilizing more men. Let's check this out. Uh, you're modernizing the industry. Ah, here. A little late to be modernizing the industry, but that's good. I could then go here, get more recruitable pop. Yes, good, good, good. We have options. Other options are domestic motor company. If you ever get back here, you can get another research slot if you can rebuild the Warsaw forts, but you'll need, you'll need to retake Warsaw or Kaunas in this case. Why do I need Kaunas to build the Warsaw front? Other good things are corporatist economy. Yes. Bank. Yes. And I like this one, Integrate the Opposition, because it unlocks a very good advisor, which gives you minus 5% consumer goods and daily support for non-aligned. Pretty, pretty, pretty much a no-brainer. Pretty much no brainer. So you got good focuses. Your focuses aren't terrible. I don't know what order you did them in, but it's it's okay. Military high command. This guy's not terrible. This is okay. This guy is a trap. Never pick this guy. That 5% political power gain, he does not pay for himself throughout the entire game. Well, in theory he does, but he's, he's not worth it. Never pick this guy. Uh, what else? If you go on armor. Yeah, pointless. Ships, okay. 
Got an air designer, maybe we can work with that. Material designer, I'll need to check that out. And then of course the army. Yeah, you don't have that much available. I think the army drill genius is gonna be great for us because I need more troops than what we have available, so I need them quickly. Once we have a large enough army, I'll switch over to army defense, I think. And then for the rest, we have the artillery expert, infantry. Okay, this is decent. I can work with this. I would go from partial mobilization up to war economy and if I had the manpower I would jack it completely to total mobilization but war economy will do for now. Our political power gone, um, you have some more decisions here, do I need any? No, no I don't think so, okay. I saw you had spies, what are they doing? Okay, you're building a spy network. I would not build a spy network here. Build your spy networks closer to the front lines. It gives you some combat bonuses. They'll be they'll be very valuable. Oh, I hope I can get these guys deployed quickly. Let's take the speed down. Oh, right, Air Force. Mm, it's, mm, it's, not, uh, it's not great. I would conserve the Air Force for now. Uh, I'm gonna ground these planes and I'll send them up when I'm doing something like uh, an offensive where they might be useful. Right now, I'm, I'm not sure what to do with them. How is your production looking? Okay, guns, yes. Support equipment, yes. Artillery, could use a little bit more. A little less on the towed anti-tank. You'll need some more trucks though, and... Uh, um, I'm gonna cut down on fighter ones. I don't actually like building fighter ones. It's 1940, You're a little late to the party. Fighter two would be optimal. Uh, it is what it is. Um, we'll try and build more, I guess, if we can ever get the economy fixed. Should be fixable once we retake our country. We're gonna improve your fighters a little. It's not much, but it is something. Yeah, and then trade. Uh, who do we trade with? Uh, Sweden's gonna be easiest, but that requires convoys. So we'll trade with whoever we can while we still have a land connection. I don't think that is going to be here for very long. We're gonna lose that. Until we do, we'll keep trading. Um, nothing for it but to unpause and see what happens, I guess. This is this is gonna suck so much. Uh, redeploy these, these units as quickly as possible. I need them in position. I need them in position before stuff goes sideways. Stuff's already going sideways. Ooh, opportunities, maybe? Uh, we'll see what we can do. Oh, your construction. You're, you're not building anything. You might wanna... Might want to invest in some mills at this point, my friend. Might want to invest in some mills in whatever land you have left. Oh boy, I hope these guys can be deployed quickly. Very quickly. Anyone be willing to send me stuff? Mm -mm, technically, I don't have a deficit. No, oh, Soviets hate our guts. Everybody hates our guts. Of course they do. We formed the Commonwealth. That means a lot of world tension. Okay, I'm gonna send up my fighters uh, and air wings of two. Yeah. Two air wings of 100. Air superiority over Western Poland. Just, just to try and stem the tide as best we can. Till I can get troops deployed. And fall back everywhere that we are overextending ourselves. It's, it's difficult enough as it is. Oh, and increase our supply by motorizing all of our hubs. Oh god, we cannot. <laughs> A little bit then. Okay, until we get more trucks. Are we building trucks? Yes, we're building trucks. It's sort of stabilizing. Sort of, kind of, maybe? I'm not confident though. I need to secure Warsaw, so I want to push them away from the capital. Ooh, stuff from Greece, yes. Uh, Germany is contesting our air. It's it's not worth it keeping the fighters up. Just maybe set them to interception so they don't get blown to bits as quickly. <sighs> yeah, it's it's bad. It's bad. We've lost our connections to Soviet Union and the Romania, so we can no longer trade with most people except for Sweden. Sweden's pretty much the only person we can still trade with. This makes things a little more complicated. We have no sources of aluminum, no sources of rubber, no source of oil. Oh boy. Yeah, we're not gonna be building a lot of fighters. I am going to ground my fighters. It is what it is. I just need to hold on for a little bit until I can get more divisions out. Why are you even fighting this with virtually no army? I I don't know, but it was not your best move. We'll start an ambitious offensive plan towards Estonia. Th th don't count on executing it anytime soon, but never hurts to be ambitious. Germans are just hounding us. And we have no air. Yeah, you really don't have an air force. Y those planes, they're fighter ones, they're they're just not good enough. I am torn. I, I think I might actually be better off deleting this production line for now, but I'll leave it up. Ah, We'll see, we'll see. We'll keep playing. We'll keep playing. It's not over yet. It is definitely not over yet. Keep micromanaging this defense. Okay, so Finland? 
Soviets is in the Axis, and they've just declared war on the Soviet U- What the hell's going on here? Need to make some small counterattacks wherever I can. Try to eke back our territory. Oh. <laughs> Why are you at war with everyone? Why? Who are our friends? Okay, so the Allies don't hear our guts. There's that. Just hold on, the Allies might do the heavy lifting. The Comintern doesn't exist anymore, I assume because of the Soviet Civil War. And then you've got People's Front. China's in the Allies. Xinjiang is in the People's Front with Nationalist China. Japan is also in... Oh, I hate it when the world goes non-historical. God, it's so disgusting. Okay, industry modernized. Uh, I'll develop natural resources to get the most out of whatever we have, and then we'll see. Maybe it'd be better even get more PP. We're still mobilizing manpower, so that's good. I'm gonna issue a last stand because I don't want to lose those tiles. Uh, I'll reinforce them in a while. Should be on time. Oh, we still have a bunch of army experience. Let's check out your officer core. Okay, your doctrine. You have the right idea, superior firepower, but you want to go integrated support. So go left, uh, sorry, right, integrated support, and then airland battle or shock and awe. I prefer airland battle just a little bit, but shock and awe is also really, really good. I think shock and awe is better if you don't use tanks at all. So so go right, right. Uh, we'll, we'll fix that later. It's not too far gone. Um, you've got inventive leadership. Not terrible but eh, got some other options that might be better. Spirit of the Army, let's start with that. I would go with either the Engineers, just for the Entrenchment. Professional Army Corps for the overall Army XP, really good. Quick Improv, eh, not bad. Overwhelming Firepower, that is good if you need to do a lot of changes to your artillery. I think we'll go with the Professional Army Corps. And then this Spirit, uh, Smoke and Fire, really good. The Breakthrough and the Suppressive Barrage. Flexible Organization, also really good. Reserve Officers, if you want to spam out a lot of divisions quickly, this is going to be a lifesaver. And Static Warfare, if you're desperately cl clinging on to land. Let's just keep desperately clinging on to whatever we have left. Alright, um, small counterattack going on in the north. Let's hope that works out. Oh yes, I would like a non-aggression pack Russia. Which Russia was that? Ah, the fake one. Popov. Okay. And Stalin. Well, we might be able to take Konigsberg if we do that. Oh, that would, that would be great. Pin them there. Don't want you reinforcing. And take Konigsberg. All right. Small encirclement. It's not much, but it is something. Every little bit helps. We'll destroy a division there. Good. Why are my submarines still out? What is this navy? Just, just go home. Don't be overly ambitious. We cannot fight the Kriegsmarine with two submarines. All right, first wave of reinforcements is coming in. And I'll deploy them near our breakthrough because I want to go in on that. All right, that's the army to the north fully filled out. Everybody else is going to be redeployed to the field marshal. And I'll deploy them somewhere mm, centrally. So I'll need six, seven here, seven here. So 14 divisions. That will fill out those armies. Okay, we're still holding. We're not dead yet. Our supply lines are sort of intact. Good. Well, not good. It's just could be worse. Overall, I think your main mistake here was just underestimating just how strong Germany is. You need a lot more troops than this, my friend. A lot more troops than this. Okay, let's bring out everybody. Uh, just a play. I'm not going to go all in on this uh, Germany, but I do need to make something happen. So I'll try to expand wherever possible. Oh, I've taken Memel. We have core territory again. Okay, every every tile I take, our country gets stronger. I was hoping for a bit of an encirclement here, but our divisions are mm, sort of lacking strength against these entrenched divisions. But we do get stronger every day. I'm tempted to go with flexible organization. Just speed. Speed tends to win you things. But smoke and fire. Ah, I'll go with smoke and fire. Just I like explosions. Looks good. Next army XP is going to be used to change our doctrine to something a little better. Oh, we're getting some encirclements. All right. Destroy German divisions wherever we can. Keep the pressure up. I feel like we're stabilizing this kind of sort of. Not really, but still. Oh, research. Right, I forgot to check your research. Oh, no. You've not done infantry. Oh. Okay, so tanks? No, tanks are off the table. You're too far gone to, to do tanks now. They're By the way, they're not even that great. No step back. Um, you want infantry equipment. You want this up to date. You'll be mostly infantry based. Then support companies. Yeah, this is okay. Keep like logistics up to date. Recon up to date. Trains. Meh. Yeah, okay. 
Um, armor, ignore it. Uh, artillery, you've done well. You've kept this up to date, which is nice. Uh, could do the same for the anti-tank. Anti-air is also very lovely. It's really cheap. I would recommend you get this researched early. I'm not going to do this right now where economy is not doing that well. So I don't think I can afford the extra expense. Instead, let's just get, we'll see, we'll check out the industry first. So you've gone dispersed. Yeah, okay. It's like, it's, it's not a huge difference between the two. It's fine. I would recommend going with this production line. Always going with the production efficiency cap first. This has been made uh, known to me recently, uh, apparently. Efficiency growth is based on your cap. The higher your cap, the faster your efficiency grows and the more stuff you produce. So it is recommended to go for the production efficiency cap first. So this line, everything else second. Try that. We're almost done here. So afterwards, we'll do that. I'm not going to waste those 17 days or 16 days. But yeah, let's let's get that infantry fixed. Ooh, another encirclement. If we can keep that. It's not much, but it's honest work. Uh, Non-aggression pacts. Sure, sure. I, I'm, I'm not going to be doing a lot of conquering. Uh, no, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. How's Europe looking? Okay, so the allies have not completely fallen over yet. Romania is still here. They've lasted a month. We might not actually be in such a terrible state after all. I think our saving grace is just how distracted the Axis is. They're fighting Romania, they're fighting Yugoslavia, they're fighting Greece, they're fighting, well, France and the Netherlands, low countries. They're, they're fighting the Russians. They're fighting everyone. That's good, because I don't want them fighting me. One hour later. And I just realized this. <laughs> this isn't. Oh, God. Okay, so I just realized this is not on Iron Man mode. And in between recordings, I turned the game off for dinner. And I lost a bunch of playtime. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Oh, well. If we did it once, we could do it again. Or were we? Smoke and fire. Yay. I do feel like an idiot though. That was classic, classic mistake. Well, we did it once, we can do it again. Let's bring out the air once more in support of our Northern army. They'll have to uh, tip the balance here. Let's see a better opportunity elsewhere. Let's see if I can get an encirclement going here. That would be big if I can pull this one off. Situation favorable. We did it. We may have just done it. Come on, get in there, get in there. Yes! Alright, glorious. Okay, so that is four divisions in circle. That's a lot better than we did last time. So, again, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for having messed up. Uh, I just completely forgot that this is not on Iron Man. This is why I play Iron Man. And the research, of course. Yeah, support weapons, no tanks. We've, we've been over this, right? We've been over this. We're taking a lot more pressure from the Germans than we were before, but that is pretty okay. I think we're almost ready to start making a big counterattack in the north. We've cleaned up a lot of their, well, a lot, several of their divisions here, and it, it looks fairly lightly held. So I think I'm going to start pushing here and reclaim some of our land. If I can push to the Soviet border, that will just make it easier to defend as well. I won't be completely encircled and I'll have trade options once more. And with these four divisions, I'll have my army maxed out and then I'll, I'll start looking at making a, a sort of coast guard division, just a simple 10 with or something. I will need those. I will need those because the Germans probably already naval invaded us once to have gotten into this position. And our two submarines are not going to fend off the Kriegsmarine. Yes, the occasional strategic push wherever I see weak German units. Just, But we are actually pushing out every now and then. We take a slice of land back. Great, that one will link up our railway networks. It's the only reason I'm pushing here at all. Uh, plus it's hills, so we should be able... Oh, it's, no, it's hills, so we should be able to defend it relatively easily. The important thing part is hold on to the railway. What is... Oh, these are Romanian units. Why are the Romanians here? Oh, they're still not dead. I'm impressed. I am impressed. It looks like Germany has ground to a halt in the west, so it's gonna be up to us as usual. Let's see if we can get something going here with a little bit of a counterattack. And yes, battle planning is not optimal. I, I just don't want to micromanage every little fight here. I just want to see what's possible. Our border is very lightly held. We're just so lucky that Germany is incredibly distracted by the Allies. That's the only reason we're still alive. It's because the Allies are sucking up a lot of German divisions. Let's hope many Germans die in pointless offensives. Uh, Communist China, sure. 
Sure. Has Stalin signed one of those? He has not. Typical. Ah, another division. Every one we take away just strengthens our position. That's all of our land up there. I'd very much like it back. Looks like we're pretty okay for equipment. Just need a little bit of support equipment and some manpower. And all our units in the field will be equipped. At least for now, this offensive is going to cost us. So I'm going to quickly go here, edit, duplicate. And we'll design something to guard our coasts with. It has to be cheap. I, I cannot afford to splurge. Just a 10 combat with unit with some support artillery. There we go. This will just be the coast guard. Give him shovels. Where's the shovel? I always have trouble finding the icons in this list. There we go. And I'll trade a couple of these. Not too many. Let's start with 16. Ooh, yeah, we need more stuff. At least the offensive's going reasonably well. Gotta be careful that I don't get myself encircled now, but... Yeah. I'm gonna get another German division here. Yes! Ah, glorious. Let's see if we can snake our way past the German lines. They seem to be very thin right now. Ooh, that's our old capital. Let's get the Kaunas. Okay, okay, okay. Our Commonwealth is growing. We're a little bit larger already. Uh, good. And with natural resources developed, uh, I'm gonna get the um, integrate the opposition so I can hire this advisor. 5% consumer goods and support for non-aligned. We already have a ton of support for non-aligned. Eh, I'll get him anyway. I think Germany is starting to pull out because I see a lot of divisions very low org and it seems like they're leaving. It would be nice if they were leaving. They're squatting on my land. Ah, more divisions encircled. Yes, glorious. No, they've unencircled themselves. Unacceptable. Reencircle them. Hey, our capital moved. We are back in Kaunas. I hope that doesn't screw with the railway network. How does it look like here? Eh, uh, I think it's still okay, yeah. That's also giving us a ton of extra factories that we sadly cannot do much with. No, we seem to have a shortage of pretty much everything under the sun right now. Well, that's not true. It's mostly steel, rubber. All those things that we can trade with. I can only trade with Sweden right now. I need to get a border with the Soviets again. I'm impressed by Romania's tenacity. I would have expected them to have already fallen over. Oh, by the way, um, my two generals that are manning the southern front under the field marshal, I've given both of them ambusher, at least one of them. No, nope, they're both ambushers. The Northern Army is built a little differently. This guy has been given infantry expert because I'm mostly focusing on the attack with this one. I know, I know. This also works on the defensive. But right now, I need that entrenchment plus the recon bonus. Eh, it's pretty okay. So this guy has the honor of leading the charge for glorious Lithuania. All right, more divisions destroyed. Keep pushing. We are getting more and more rightful Lithuanian territory back. But it's coming at a price. It is coming at a price. Oh, good lord, my southern front is getting thinner and thinner because this line is just getting longer and longer. It only used to go up to what? To, to like Lublin. It's it's going all the way here now, so I, I, need, I need to fix this. Uh, if the Germans launch a counteroffensive, I probably don't have the strength to repel them. But Germany is super distracted with the Allies. That's perfect. That's fine. It's fine. That's all I want, really. That's all I want. Okay, we've pushed through the Soviet border, so in theory, we have access to some foreign trade once again. No, hmm, thought we would have. Ah, maybe it still needs to update. All right, now if we can push this entire pocket up to the uh, Estonian lands, clean that up, we will be golden. We just need to relentlessly clean that up. And our first batch of Coast Guards have arrived. What do I do with these guys? Just park them on our coastal tiles, I guess. Just don't want to get myself naval invaded again. I don't know if you can close the noose here. That will be another blow to the German army. Why is everyone -y looking to sign non-aggression pacts? I'm not looking to attack any of you. Just leave me alone. I'll leave you alone. Oh, 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 oh. That is another four divisions encircled. I know it's not much. I know it's not... Ooh, okay, that's good. I know it's not hugely impressive, but it helps. It helps. What is this? Now Sweden has to go up against the Axis. Ooh, this is actually good for us. This is very good for us. And the Japanese Shogunate? I just noticed that. That is a different Japan that I'm used to. Uh, what did they do? Oh, they... Did they purge or did they support the Kohoda, Kodoha? I think they went with support and then the Showa restoration. Or the, no, modern show. Oh, it doesn't matter. It just looks weird. <laughs> Ching China. It all just looks so weird. This is why I don't play non-historical. I cannot handle the weirdness. Uh, switch over to integrated support and it'll be better. Yeah, German counterattack coming in hot. I hope we can survive it because our lines are pretty 
pretty thin, pretty thin. But I should be able to cycle a couple units to make this work. Once this northern section's cleaned up, I can add these divisions to the south, and we should be pretty okay. We should be able to hold. Well, we should. No guarantees. Germany decides it wants to fight the player and only the player. Well, there's not much I can do about that. Oh, yes, Sweden, thank you. Oh, Sweden's getting eaten, though. Oh, if Sweden falls, we have nobody left to trade with unless I can trade with the Soviets again. Yes, I have access to the world. Okay, that's good. So I can start making stuff again. Okay, our economy, maybe not booming, but it's a thing again. Actually doing a lot better here than I had hoped. We may, may, we may actually just reclaim everything and be in a position to strike south because the Germans, while they are still attacking us to the south, they're, they're just really overextended. Uh, though that might change once Sweden falls, but we'll see. Allies are naval invading. They haven't capitulated yet, so I, th I think we'll, we'll win this. I think we'll win. Oh, Yugoslavia is going to go, though. Hmm, that will be bad. As long as Romania can cling to life and Sweden doesn't just fall over, we should still be okay. Ooh, another pocket here. Yes, 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 yes. That's good. How has this war gone so far? Uh, Germany has lost most of its men to us, as expected. Great. How have we done? Could be worse, could be better, could be worse. All right, opposition integrated. Let's get uh, less consumer goods. Yes, always good. Always good. Not just good, it's great. Speaking of great, um, I'm going to replace this guy. He's really not good with the agricultural capitalist. Yes, I still got more PP. Who else can I replace? Hmm, this staunch anti-German would be very suitable, but no. Let's not. Uh, I'll, I'll not touch this material designer. Yes, infantry equipment designer. We are way behind of on, on our infantry equipment. That'll do for now. God, it actually looks like we'll win this one. Okay, if I could just now overrun Estonia, please. Just walk around their army. They're all busy in Sweden. Oh, Germans are attacking again. The only thing saving my bacon is the fact that I am really not the primary theater for Germany. They're just so spread out. And the amount of military factories we suddenly have at our disposal is a little absurd. I like it. And let's get some cash. It looks like we might actually have the economy to use it for a while. Uh, and I don't think we'll have to fight the Soviets. Soviets are still fighting among themselves. I don't think they'll bother me. Let's instead bring this army home and make a push here to try and get rid of this bulge. Oh, and train a couple more coast guards. We we have some need for coastal divisions. That actually went fairly well. Can I do anything interesting? No. Oh, Iceland. Yeah, that's fine. I should probably guard these two ports. Uh, why does Switzerland need military access? Oh, they're fighting Italy. They're actually winning. <laughs> Switzerland has taken Milan. Oh, Mussolini. This looked a lot worse than it actually was. I'm just going right through the axis. They are so overextended, it's not even funny. Might change when they take Sweden, if they take Sweden though, but I, I doubt it. I really doubt it. They haven't even been able to... Uh, what? Okay. They haven't even been able to clean up this naval invasion, so I think Germany's... Um, yeah. Not doing very well. Ah, another encirclement. Glorious. Okay, so that's a couple more German divisions we can wipe out. Let's hurry up. Now this tiny air force, it, it doesn't suck as much as I thought it would. It's actually pretty helpful. Mostly because Germany's not even contesting the air here. They're too busy fighting the allies. Oh, love it. Love it. Here we are, taking back what's rightfully ours. Oh, Schmittler, you're making a huge mistake not prioritizing me, and I welcome it. I think if I start pushing south here, we might be able to do a lot of damage if we link up with Romania. Or I start pushing towards Berlin. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Don't want to overextend, though. It's it's going well. Let's not ruin it. And if that idiot in Moscow deci decides he wants my land now, it might be screwed. What's this? Shibe Sanma. What? What's going on in China? Oh, God. Really? Really? This is just stupid. Uh, I just don't like non-historical, I'm sorry. It's not my thing. It's just not. Now Shang-Chi- Oh, what the- God. This is just weird. Weird and stupid, and Communist China's managed to get itself entirely surrounded. People's Front is just- Well, not very bright. Okay, so we've got all of our cores pretty much back. That's- that's great. Except for the ones the Soviets are holding. Maybe we'll take those later. Uh, time for a 
like a decisive counterattack. What I'm gonna do here is push towards the river. Actually, what am I even doing? Just, just attack. Just go there, attack. Germany is overextended. Exploit that. Exploit that. Well, let's get fighter twos as well. Right, right. So I'm gonna try and take on Germany while they have their backs to us. They're so distracted with the allies here, the naval invasion with ooh, Sweden. Yeah, Sweden is not looking too peachy, but they are so distracted. I think this is our opportunity. Let's get the infantry position and plan for an attack. I would ideally add some more artillery to these units or uh, add stuff like recon companies. They're very, very helpful and support artillery, but I, I just don't have the equipment. Uh, our industry has improved, but it's still not, not close to being perfect. Suddenly we have a lot more manpower as well with all that core territory back under our control. Are we occupying anything? No, it's all still cores. Great, that's just fantastic actually. Let's strike at the Germans, let's see what they're really made of. Wet tissue paper it looks like. Good. Good. Poland marches, or Lithuania marches. Either way, Poland is not yet lost. We're coming for you, Schmittler. Hide in that bunker. Ah, we've got a clean shot towards Berlin. Go, 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 storm the bunker. No, Japanese troops moved in just in time. Doesn't matter. It won't save Schmittler. Yes, Polish divisions have taken Berlin. The Commonwealth is strong. I wonder how much more of this Sweden can take. They don't look, no, oh, they don't look to be in great shape, no. Feels like we're breaking through, but I am also afraid that we might overextend, so I need to be careful here. Um, Germans are weak, but I am not a behemoth, and I don't have that many divisions. Oh yeah, we're starting to run into some meaningful German resistance, both in the air and on the ground, so we're starting to get into trouble. Not so much trouble, but uh, it's, it's not as easy anymore. Yeah, let's halt that offensive and plan something else. Uh... Oh, this is gonna overext- Oh god, this overextends us so much. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Um, new plan. Just gonna shorten the field marshal order a bit and concentrate my, my offensive infantry. It's all the same template, don't worry. Gonna concentrate my offensive towards the uh, Baltic shoreline, Rostock, Lübeck, Kiel. Mm, and just cut off the German troops in uh, Sweden. That way Sweden has a fighting chance. Hey, the UK have managed to link up their naval invasion with the rest of the front. Oh, it's over for Germany. They have no idea what kind of beast they've unleashed in the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Mindaugas here. Mindaugas doesn't take shit from anyone. Especially not funny mustachioed men in Berlin. Or Moscow for that matter. 20 minutes later. It hasn't even really taken us all that long to get to this point. You you had all the tools you needed. It's just a matter of recognizing them and using them. You had a ton of equipment saved up. You had manpower coming in. Deploy more divisions. Make use of gaps in the line. You see enemy weakness, exploit it. Don't just sit there and let things happen to you. No, you act. Don't react, act. And this is what acting gets you. A big old Polish-Lithuanian commonwealth who doesn't take shit from anyone. Hey, Denmark liberated... Oh, liberated, air quotes. Uh, we're, we'll, we'll hold on to it for safekeeping, don't worry. You know what? We're nice people. Can I just give them... There you go, military access. There we go, you've got your Denmark back. And with that, the German offensive in Sweden should start collapsing soon. At least I hope so, because otherwise uh, all that was for nothing. That's not true. We've, we've done we've done well here. We've done very well here. We've lost 333,000 units and in exchange... Oh, we've killed a lot of Germans. I'm now pushing into Sweden. Oh, this is too good to be true. I'm going on a trip to Sweden, boys. I'm surprised the UK hasn't invited me into the Allies yet. They don't hate me that much. Why, why, why won't they let me in? Ah, uh, too much world tension. Ah, uh, sad times. Sad times. Uh, the French... Oh, uh, what? I <laughs> Francis, the communist. <laughs> oh, the world just keeps getting weirder. Oh, make it stop. It's too much. I think we can speed the game up. Let's see if we can... We can capitulate Germany and Italy and, and just secure the continent and I'll be happy. I'm not gonna sail over to Japan and capitulate them as well. That's a little too much for my tastes. And with that, we've cleaned up Germany's expedition northward. Uh, I'll, I'll leave Sweden and the Allies to deal with the Estonia-Finland League, I don't really care. Let's 
Let's just turn our attention back south. Mm, Germany has shored up here, it feels like. Maybe, maybe we can make something happen. Yeah, it does look like Germany has grown wise to what we were doing and started actually fortifying its positions. I've also started a little offensive targeting Hungary here in the south. If it goes well, that's great. If it goes poorly, I'll pull the troops away and see if I can squash the Estonia Finland League here. They are annoying, quite annoying. Fall of Rome, I don't think I need to worry about Mussolini much more. No, nope, he seems to be falling over all on his own. To think I was so worried when I started this save, it, it's all going quite well. Hey, it looks like we've breached Hungary's defenses, if we can just rush south quickly enough. Oh yeah, they'll, they'll suffer for that. I will need to do something about this railway, I should probably just plug it into mine. That will avoid a lot of trouble, there we go. At least that way the troops here can be supplied. 12 seconds later. <laughs> Classic Hungary. Completely unable to defend itself. We could just walk to Pex. It's over. Ah, no, they've intercepted my divisions. Oh well, I've got plenty more. Oh, there goes Hungary. That's a bunch of guns. That should allow me to trade some troops. Oh yeah, that gives me a couple of divisions. There, 24 should do. Okay, that puts the Romanians back on the map. Uh, I think we can safely say the Balkans is under control. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's all allies and the People's Front for some reason. So this should all stabilize more or less. Now, I'm impressed by Germany's ability to just hold out though. That has more to do with the AI being very, very passive, I think. <laughs> Once I start pushing, that's gonna fall over. Just as soon as I clean this mess up, and we have liberated our dear friends in Romania. Hurrah! You know, I've spent a lot of time this this run just saving random countries. I should have spent that saving this save. Though, at this point, is this really a disaster? I don't think it's a disaster anymore. Time to attack Germany. Let's see if we can push this house of cards until it falls over. This general has done the Lord's work. He's already level 7. Nice. Oh, now Qing China has also gone to war with... <sighs> so they're fighting us, and they're fighting the entire Axis. That everyone... It's a free-for-all. The world's turned into a free-for-all. Now, the only Axis country that's still sort of winning is Japan. Because <laughs> we are rapidly taking huge chunks out of Germany. Oh look, we're invited to a faction. We can join the allies. Kinda don't want to because you'll screw up my peace deal. Nah, you just kick me afterwards. I don't trust you, Halifax. I don't need your help anymore. You weren't there for us when we needed you. Oh, what an encirclement we've made here. Oh, Germany, Germany, Germany. Just give up, you've lost. Just, just give up. All right, I'll be nice. I'll be nice. We're not the Soviets. We'll be nice when we occupy you. Well, Germany is gonna go tits up any day now, and with that, that is the last remaining resistance on the continent, I think. I, I'm not gonna count Turkey, not really a major, and uh, the disaster is saved. Now, for shits and giggles, I could attack the Soviet Union and tip the balance against the SSSR. It's just because it's been my pet project this run, to keep those guys alive. Oh, there goes Germany. But uh, no, I'm not going to do that. It's January of 1942, so I think it took me two years to go from we're about to lose everything to being this gigantic Polish-Lithuanian commonwealth. I'd say this was a lot easier than it looked, but I had a ton of fun, and this general is an absolute chad. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like, consider subscribing, and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload more content, and check out this next video. I've picked it just for you.